Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're yeah, right, you're right. We'll see, we'll see about that. So, like you said earlier, maybe Yoshi Freak switching off to a different character, hopefully with a different plan, and it seems that he's actually giving Palutena the Palutena treatment with these Nairs. Mm -hmm. Gonna get so much damage off. And Game Watch is definitely a character that's been up for debate on where he's placed. It's kind of one of those things, right? Like, when the game first came out, he had a bit of a trouble finding some level, like, hey, Game & Watch is now low tier, right? But then, like I said, sometimes a character honestly just needs the proper representation to establish itself somewhere in a generally consented tier list. And now that we have players like Meister doing a tremendous job with Game & Watch. Paper. Paper, uh, paper you know, he's, he still does great, man. I definitely won't tell you he's like one of the best Game & Watch. And uh, he's, he's pulling his weight as yeah, for Game sure. & Watch. Though. He's helping definitely. with representation. And remember, Game & Watch's frame data is crazy in this game. Yep. His up E is definitely one of those things that definitely can give a lot of characters a run for their money, especially when it comes to combos and getting and Game & Watch being able to just eject those Cito out of that situation. I do like the pressure with this back air. Case was not going to give up because he knows at the ledge with, uh, with Game & Watch's weight, that will be something to take care of. Just pressures him in the corner. It's like brutal. And he actually caught it up with a great tech from Case was to get away from it. Mm -hmm. Who? Wow, Tetsu in it right now. And remember, this is so you can get the final spot in this group. To top 48. 48. There's, still, there's still a couple other players left to, uh, left to fight for their spots in top 48. But hey, man, I know Case West wants those gates to open because he's been putting a little, couple of work, a bit of work here in Soka for sure. And here it comes. And to have it over a couple like 500 players, that's going to be something. Oh, to that's be proud very of. impressive. Right? Yeah. And also, a lot of things coming in right now. Aerials left and right. Needs to be careful. It seems that the shield pressure right now, and here comes the up as we talked about. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of background about Case was too, is he actually won an Arcadian back in Smash 4. Oh. So yeah, he has a little bit of experience of being, you know, one of those players to win an Arcadian in an event as well. So he's definitely just a player that we have all told, hey man, stop picking low tiers. If you want to get Ws, don't pick low tiers. Let somebody else represent the character. And for Case was here, he's definitely putting great work with his Palutena. Trying to get away from the corner here because Yoshi Freak has turned things around against Case with his Game & Watch. And Game & Watch is up smash. It's a very strong tool. But actually, Case was is still alive. Barely, yeah. though. I'm surprised. Oh, he read it. I don't have to get anything off of that, though. But remember, Yoshi Freak could take the stock just like that. I was about to say he needs to be careful because Palutena gets some damage off. But able to close the stock out with that key. Yeah. Another Nair. You mentioned it earlier, right? Palutena likes to be the one going for these neutral errors, but now we're seeing it coming off from Game & Watch, definitely continuing a trend of his own. Able to get something down, needs to be super careful in this scenario, a lot of damage being stacked up left and right. Case Wiz, having a little bit of a hard time against this Game & Watch, and remember, if he tosses up not a reticle against that bucket, that is disaster. Exactly. That's kind of one of those things that you have to also understand in terms of mechanics, right? Some moves counter out some other moves. So we don't see Case was going off for auto reticle simply because he knows what that means against Game & Watch Bucket. That, and at this point, right, why would he go for auto reticle if it means Game & Watch Bucket? And that's one thing that you see some Palutena means go for is the condition to just hold shield or to pick an out of shield option. And it seems to be the flip side. And who's being pressured into, into this corner? Case was having a hard time. We're looking like Mario right now with these up. With the reverse up special, and here come the two twos, forcing him off oh, in there, and then there clips him once more. Yoshi Freak sends Case Wiz where he should belong in the sky. <laughs> I guess so. We'll see, man. I mean, I don't want to put it out for Case Wiz yet, but it's good stuff for Yoshi Freak to be able to pick a character like Game and Watch. Kind of take it over, Case Wiz. I do like the fact that he stayed composed, right? He was going to get hit by those up airs, and he stays calm. For Case Wiz, I do know that he has been used. He's used Chrom before. So I wonder if he's going to make that character switch to Krom, have a little bit more of a disjoint and way more kill power and speed in overall in general. I feel like that's something that he kind of lied against Game & Watch. But we'll see. Case was in a little bit of thought here. And there's the Krom. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's, it's one of those options to be able to have against Game & Watch, right? Having that kill power, the speed, the disjoint. That was, those are some things that Case was wasn't able to get down with. Palutena that he might be able to do with Krom. Yeah, and here we go, moving on forward. Krom can give Game & Watch a run for its money, but remember, Krom is still vulnerable to edge guards. Exactly. Also being really trapped up there, so it needs to be super careful. But as we soon as we see that, Case was. I, the one thing I'm liking here from Case was his patience. Look at that. He lands in with falling up air, finds a confirm, and gets control, and then walks away. Oh, you wouldn't. Yeah, I, thought, I didn't think that would land either, but Case was getting I like that. Out. Saves his jump. Saves his jump. He knows he's going to need that jump to make the recovery. 
and a great down. And the minute he comes back, what a great reversal from K-Swiss and a great stock taken. And that's the jab confirmed coming into play right now. Roy and Krom have an option for that. It's a little stronger with Roy because you get the sweet spot off there, mm -hmm. but Krom can do it more consistently. I like that. Gets a jab, walks away. He's waiting for Yoshi Freak and a charge forward smash for a bit of a threat. Yeah, and he's just going to step away from that one for a little bit. And here comes, not, not the dance of play. People got so mad. Double, it's double uh, edged dance. dance. Yeah. yeah. People got so mad. They're like, oh, why is he calling a dancing blade? I'm like, my bad. I don't know any of it. Nice. Falling up air into uh, back air. I like the fact that Yoshi Freak lands here and he goes for an up. He doesn't want to get caught in another, in another one of Krom's combos. Back though. Opportunity to go for a back air. And I like the fact that he lands down, but armor. you got to be careful. The armor is there. Yeah, he's armored right through. He's actually going to stay alive, thankfully. Double edged dance. Yep. I like that. Case was this time he opts to use his jump early so he could go he for a high recovery. It. And he brought it right back into where he wanted it to be. He caught it just like that. Here comes the Nair into play, catching it out, trying to use the double edge dance in order to get away from it, but 170%. You know, Yoshi needs to be careful because Case was can follow it up with a suicide combo. Exactly. You give the character a little bit of... I, I respect it. I mean, at this point, Case was kind of said like, okay, I'm at high percent. I'm going to lose the stock, but I've done way more damage. I've done my job. Exactly. Like, I've done my job with that stock. And he's able to land to grab as well. No confirm off of that one just yet. I love the falling up air. Trying to cancel something a little more damage down. But here we go. Yoshi Freak fighting back with his combos of his own. k is being a little bit cautious here. He doesn't want to panic and probably go for directional air dodge or waste the jump and then get carried off stage. I like that little bit of patience, right? Accept the damage here. And what's going to come next to is how you retaliate. Mm -hmm. He needs to be super careful. He needs to be careful on this edge guard right now. It's forcing right now. Great patient from Case was he's eating he, all this the, damage. The thing here for Case was though is he keeps trying to make a five percent of stage when he should be going to the ledge and then resetting from there. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you speak of that, he gets a little bit of percent off. 48 45 I should say. But it avoids the down smash, thankfully, but here comes the, the jab confirm into the back air. Mm -hmm. I like that, charging that forward smash, trying to see if he's going to go for direction air dodge into the stage. Eject those either to kind of get out of Krom's range. There's a dash attack, and Case was using the directional air dodge to try to move towards the ledge here, but quickly Yoshi Freak has turned things around. Yeah, this is definitely not impossible coming into play right now. We're seeing right now a lot of damage coming in. Oh, he had the opportunity here. I feel like Case was kind of fumbling the ball here, and he's not getting used to Game & Watch. Full jab, and Yoshi Freak has turned things around from a reverse one stock. He has to use that up B. He's going for the down oh, smash. I, I respect it because at this point, Game & Watch might have tried to make a play after the down smash. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, he's good. He's good. He's good. No, he's but not unfortunately, the back air will be the one thing that Case was, was not able to contend. And that'll take it. Yoshi Freak takes it over Case was with a 2-0. And Case was started off with a dominant fashion. Yeah, it did so well. It was just my favorite Case was. But Yoshi Freak quickly able to adapt in that situation. And he'll be moving on to top 48. Yeah. Still great great show from Case Wiz. I wish I could have seen him in top 48. Definitely one of those players I've kind of watched grown. But hey, man, all th good things must come to a close. And with all good things, honestly, with all good things come better things and just good things in general. So hey, guys, I want to say quickly, thank you guys for watching our block. I will put on my jacket. My name has been Vance. You guys can follow me at Vance underscore EXE. I host a little known podcast called the Smash Talk Podcast. I go ahead and tweet out about that when it goes live. Coming up next on the stream will be Top 48. And to take it away here will be the well-dressed Edmund. And, of course, to follow alongside her, of course, the well-dressed Aristale. So next time, guys, it has been my pleasure to serve you to the slides. Yep. Slides. 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 There we go. <laughs>